Hello everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to discuss uh, on how to solve this uh, PSLE, past PSLE math question, the so-called rings problem. Okay, coming right up. Uh, let's read the question together. Uh, each ring of the chain has a diameter of 12 as shown here eh? and a thickness of uh, two centimeters part a find the length of a chain of five rings which is shown here and part b a chain has a length of 252 centimeters find the number of rings uh, in the chain uh, so to solve this problem i know that the, uh, it is not quite obvious but the, we need to find uh, repeatable pattern as far as the distances is concerned all right so i'm going to show you actually two ways of doing it the first one is uh, is widely discussed in the internet all right what you need to do is i think it is easiest to look from uh, the end of the ring all right so let's say i start here at the end all right like you to find the repeatable pattern we can look at this which is the end of the second last ring right? and then you can see quite immediately that uh, this pattern is actually being repeated right? if this distance is D this is also D right? so you can go back all the way right? let me just illustrate eh? you can go back all the way to the second but then this pattern is lost because the first one is different already you don't have another ring overlapping it All right so this repeatable pattern uh, for these uh, five rings is only applicable for four of them one less the first one it is not applicable All right so in order to solve this we uh, we need to find out what actually is this distance d right so i think from this diagram it is quite obvious that a d to find d you will need to take the whole diameter of the ring which is 12 and then you have to minus off this thick this uh, uh this part which is consisting of actually two times of the thickness because each one of these is two okay, let me use a red color this is 2 then you have another 2 for another ring right so so this 12 we have to minus 2 times of 2 centimeters right so that will give us 12 minus 4 equal to 8 centimeters right so with this now we can find the total length of this ring which is 12 for the first one and then we have to get 5 minus 1 right, as I mentioned to you this repeatable distance uh, is only applicable for four, 4 of them one less and then uh, that one is actually 8 centimeters right so this is actually 12 plus 4 multiplied by 8 which is 12 plus 32 and that is equal to 44 centimeters uh, what I intend to do now is actually to uh, to show you another way to get this expression uh, because uh, uh, finding this sort of pattern from the original uh, diagram it is quite difficult actually unless someone has pointed it out to you then it becomes obvious but otherwise on your own if you have never encountered this problem before it is actually quite tricky right so i'm going to show you another way in which we can get this expression which is maybe slightly easier right so another way to get this expression is to consider this there are actually five rings right one uh, so and each one of them is actually 12 Right, so the first part is to take 12 uh, multiplied by 5 right. 
then because of this uh, overlapping part we have to minus off that part right and you will notice that for five rings there are all there are four of this part it's a different color there are four of them one less just like just like the above pattern right so what is this part this part is the same as before which is actually two uh, two plus two But because each thickness is 2, so there are 2 of them, or 2 multiplied by 2, or 2 plus 2 is the same thing. Eh? Right? And then there are 4 of them. So we have to multiply by 5 minus 1. Right? So let's, let's simplify and rearrange this to do a little bit of manipulation. So this is actually 5 multiplied by 12, and then minus 4 multiplied by 4. Now, this is the, the, the trick that you need to do. Eh? So, this 5 multiplied by 12, uh, we can separate it to 12 plus 4 multiplied by 12. It's the same thing. Right? So, why do I do this? Because um, the other part has got the 4 there. Right? So... Now you start to see that it is very similar uh, to this expression at the top. So, if you were to simplify this further, you will get 12, right? And then plus 4 is, is, is the common between these two. Actually, you can take it out and then uh, put the remaining numbers inside the bracket like that. This is a slide. I'm not sure whether you are familiar with this sort of uh, mathematical manipulation, but this part of the expression is the same, exactly the same as this. Right? So you can see that we get exactly the same expression as above for multiplied by 8. Right? That will compute to 44 centimeters. Right? So this is another way of looking at it. Right, uh, it, it requires a little bit of manipulation, but we are going to get exactly the same expression as this one. Right. Okay, so now let's tackle uh, part B. Right. I think it is uh, uh, now that we have the expression to find the distance, uh, part B is actually just uh, uh, the reverse of it. Right. So we need to find how many number of r uh, uh, rings in the chain, given that the total distance is 252. So we have to do the reverse of this calculation. So you notice that in this calculation, we're going to take 12 for the first ring. So the first step is actually to minus that one off. Minus the first ring first. Because the repeated pattern is only applicable after the first ring. Okay, That's why we have to do this. So 252 minus 12 is uh, 240. Okay. Then the next part is instead of multiplying by 8, Alright, to get this 5 minus 1 or uh, 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 the number of ring less 1, we have to divide by 8. Right? So, take 240, divide by 8, that will give us 30. But you must remember that this 30 corresponding to this part is actually 1 less than uh, the number of rings. Right? Because we minus of 12 here. So, the last step is actually to add that 1 back, 1 ring back. Right, so the final answer is 31. Okay guys, so now that you know how to solve this problem, go on to the link that is given in the description below. Right? Uh, click on the, this new, new uh, problem button. Each time you do so, you get a different set of numbers for you to practice. Right? So make sure you can do everything all by yourself without any assistance. Okay, Have fun. Thank you for listening.